Well, police say the man who started the Table Rock fire at the end of June is identified and has been cited. Investigators say 19-year-old Taylor Kemp admitted to using illegal fireworks that ignited those flames. KBY2's Lauren Clark is live near the foothills to share reactions of homeowners who will never forget that night. Now, this fire station here was the closest to the Table Rock fire. You can still see that burn scar if you drive past here, but that scar is nothing compared to the memories of homeowners that had to evacuate that night in fear and one homeowner who lost his home. Van Danielson will always remember the night of the Table Rock fire. His home burned to ash as a result of the flames. His loss still makes him emotional as Danielson inherited the property from his late parents. So that's what they left me was that home when they passed away. And now he finally knows the culprit. Investigators cited a 19 year old after he admitted to igniting illegal fireworks that night. It sparked a massive flame, one that's burned into Larry Satterwhite's memory. It was pretty scary. They were right at the end of the street. Uh, about 15, 20 feet high at that time and moving. Larry and his family were evacuated, and while his fence burned, his home is still intact. Both men believe that the young man should be held accountable for his actions. Uh, he knew better. I mean, the bottom line was uh, no fireworks on the front. It's a hand slap because there's still all the uh, memories that went up in flames, um, all the possessions. Now this ordeal is just beginning for Taylor Kemp, who could be facing some very stiff consequences. Now criminally, he could spend up to six months in jail and face a $1,000 fine. He could also have to pay $400,000 in restitution for the firefighting efforts. Also, the homeowner whose house burned down could sue Kemp as well. Now, Danielson, this is the homeowner who lost his home, spoke to KBOI2 yesterday, and he said what he would like to see happen is have this man do some community service and help restore this land that he destroyed. Live here in Boise, Lauren Clark, KBOI2 News. All right, thank you, Lauren, for that live report this morning. And the Table Rock fire affected a lot of people across the valley. Sure did. Here's a breakdown of those events. It started on June 29th. But by the next day, firefighters had it contained. Investigators interviewed Kemp that morning, but they say it wasn't until an interview in August that he admitted to starting the fire with a Roman candle. Along with the home, the fire burned more than 2,600 acres. Several trails surround the Table Rock area, of course. Many of those had to be closed following the fire. Well, those trails have reopened, but the burn scar remains. To help rehabilitation efforts, Zoo Boise donated $100,000. That money will be used to help replant vegetation.